There is a special difference in this particular instance though, as these are qualified medical doctors applying for jobs overseas, in Saudi Arabia to be precise. What you can see behind me right now is the process of the recruitment of Nigerian doctors by the Saudi Arabian authorities. This exercise is currently ongoing at the Sheraton Hotel and Towers right here in the Nigerian capital, Abuja. Nigerian resident doctors have been on strike for almost a month in their demand for better working conditions and negotiations with the government have failed repeatedly. And the prospect of working for the Saudi government is now seen as a big escape. The federal government is showing the cool shoulder attitude that doesn't show any kind of responsibility or okay, being careful about the situation. I can't imagine, I can't believe my honorable minister has came out and he threatened us. So I think it does not make sense or so it doesn't make much. I mean, it wasn't the situation. I would, to be candid, we're very, very disappointed. I personally am disappointed. When I go to where I work, I work in a very critical uh, care services of a hospital. But basic things that we need, we don't have. Some things I used to put in my money to, to, to buy what I need, just for the sake of the patient. And uh, to worsen the situation and to make the matter worse, in day by day, there is no any progress. To escape from the hills uh, in the society. A lot of discouraging things. You see banditry, see kidnapping, incessant strike and all those stuff. And if you can get a place where you can work, uh, a place that is calm, a, a place where you can uh, use your skill and you can be well uh, admired, is it not better? For Vivian Okolo here, it is more of a situation of heartbreak as she expresses frustration over the ever worsening situation in the healthcare system with this particular case in point. I left medical school April 2011. My teacher is here. My own teacher, the first person I cited here was my teacher, a seasoned pediatric consultant. You know what it means? My teacher that taught me how many years ago, I'm giving up on the country, on our leaders, and I come here to meet my teacher. Hello, my lovely people. That video that you just watched was our medical doctors, our medical doctors in Nigeria running away, being recruited from uh, uh, by, by Saudi Arabian uh, people to come to their country to work, to come to their country to make a better life, to come to their country. So sad. So, so, so sad. Saudi Arabia went to Nigeria to go and recruit the medical doctors because medical doctors has been on strike for a very, very long time because they don't have a equipment to work with. The, the, the government cannot fix the hospitals, build hospitals, get equipment for them to work with. So cannot even pay them their money when they work. They, they make practically nothing. A cleaner, toilet cleaner in America makes better money than them in Nigeria. And they are managing you know, they are managing themselves. And the government will not pay them. And why would they pay them when they can just get up and go to America? And one idiot that called himself a doctor, whatever he called himself, said it's okay for them to go because they have surplus. That they have surplus. That it's okay. Let them go and sharpen their, their brains. And they will come back here and open even something that the federal government cannot afford to open. That's the best they can give Nigerians. 200 million. They even brag that they go to America to, to have... Watch the video yourself. That's what we call. That's what our Nigerians has become. It has become so bad that other countries are coming to recruit our our best. Nigerians are good at whatever it is that they do. Other countries notice how good Nigerians are. They come down to our country and they recruit them. And our country government are watching their own best to leave to go to another country and make their country good and make their country better they could not pay these people or give them something to hold the country they said the best thing is to 
If they want to go, let them go. I don't blame them. I cannot fault them. The only thing now is that more than 200 million Nigerians are sitting without doctors, are sitting without hospital, are sitting without roads, are sitting without light. Nothing. All the uh, so-called leaders are going abroad to go and uh, take care of themselves. And who cares about the voters? The people that will vote for them, the people that they will use as talks. The people that they will give a hundred or two hundred thousand naira and tell them to go and delete this person, they will go and do it. I blame you guys, Nigerians. You guys are the fault of what is happening. Because if you guys put your foot down and said none of these people will go back, eh, no matter how much they rig, they will not get there. They cannot rig themselves into that office anymore. You put your foot down and said enough is enough. You you organize yourself. You guys put yourself together and go to all the polling booths and say, let me see who will come here and do whatever it is. Because the people that you guys are sending over there are sitting on your head and telling you, what are you going to do? Do your worst. After all, they have all the money. They have set. Their children are all set. They are generation upon generation. They are all set. But they forget that they can go to sleep tonight and will not wake up tomorrow. And all that money, what will happen to it? What will happen to it? Them and their children, what will happen to it? Waste. Vanity upon vanity. Instead of them helping a lot of people. When a lot of people are doing well. Crime gets reduced. Nobody has time to go crime. To do any crime. But our country has gotten so bad that the medical doctors are running away. Other countries that know their what are coming to recruit them, to go to their country, to train them, to make them work for them. And Nigerian government are busy chasing cows and goats and animals on the road. Chasing innocent people who say they want to go and stay on their own and see if they can become something for themselves. They are busy chasing animals. They are busy chasing cloud. They are busy chasing air instead of doing the right thing for the people. So I saw it. I thought I'd come and let you guys to see for yourself. May God richly bless you for listening. Subscribe if you have not. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.